Hello and welcome back to GTA and the Usual Suspects Part 2 of the Last Dose mission set. Okay, let's move. I've passed through some locations. Plain and simple. We're flipping every rock over looking for the worms that thought they could take lab rat, hit the freak shop and get away with it. I'm thinking this is a revenge hit. Probably those biker fucks or those goddamn hippies. Cousin Wade gave us the location of some of their hideouts. Get over there and see if they have lab rat. At the very least, we'll find a clue. Ow, screw these guys! Right, so essentially we're trying to find leads for uh, to find lab rat. So we've got a bit of travelling to do, so I'm probably going to speed that up. I mean, it's going to be a long enough video as it is. The missions seem to go on for ages. And yeah, so even speeding it up, it's looking like at least a, a 15 minute video. Uh, probably a lot more easier ways of doing it, like an oppressor or maybe a sparrow or something like that, but uh, I quite like driving, so I just drove. So we're at the first location. Oh, this one's going to be the hippies, because I'm <laughs> looking at the, the van parked up. I've got one of them, I quite like it. Right, so once he's worked out, I was kind of hoping that I could get at them from the car, but... Unfortunately, you have to get out. Still not 100% sure where it is that I'm going. Oh, here we go, look. Can't really see too much. as one. He sounded quite close, actually. There's not too many of them there, but I think what I was trying not to do was, um, obviously got to talk to one of them. Not cool. Now, I don't actually think, well, I found out a bit later on, you can't actually really target them. You can do it manually, uh, which I do. Shit, boy. But you can, um, let the auto look, grab the rest of them without worrying too much, but I didn't know that at the time. He's over there somewhere, so. Just still being a little bit cautious. He's hiding behind. There's one guy that just can't quite get him, I don't think. He gets shot by somebody else. Which I couldn't see from that angle, but I'm, there he is there, look. <laughs> well, that took care of him anyway. Right, so it's just the guy here, and Elliot just crouching down, so I didn't have to worry too much because. Uh... Do yeah, so I was trying to see whether you could, and you, yeah, it doesn't doesn't target them, but you can do it manually. I don't know if I killed her, but definitely get her. Yeah, so definitely going to speed them up because uh, it's definitely a longer mission than the first one. The first one was nice and short. Uh, a lot more travelling to be done in this one. And we're not done yet if this is the second location and from that we'll learn there's a third location <laughs> so we should be there almost there we've much got to do the same as what we just done again without killing uh, the main guy but a bit more confident I think this time around Trying to work out how to get in there. There it is, there, look. And I, yeah, I can do this one from the car. Or just use the car as cover. Which I think I end up doing, keeping the windows intact if I can. Perfect for the crewman. Just go barreling straight in there. All right, so it looks like we've got one by the target. So I've got to make sure I don't shoot the wrong one. Now the target's still there. I think that's the target that I'm aiming at at the moment. So I do identify him, thankfully, and don't shoot him. And then we've got that. 
guy who just popped up. I think there's one, well, two possibly by the. Oh, there's one there behind the barrier. Get a nice headshot on him. And then the third guy hiding behind the van, which I think is quite handy because we just blow the van. And that's that lot taken care of. And the boss, yeah, he's the guy that we were. We almost shot, but thankfully didn't. So there we go, that's our third location we've got to go to uh, in order to probably find a fourth location. So yeah, it's, it's a long mission. <laughs> so we, we will speed this one up as well, get in there, pretty much got to do the same all over again. And this will hopefully give us the actual location of where it is we need to start investigating. So we can get Lab Rat back. I'm not quite sure what, um, it doesn't affect our business at all, so, because <laughs> we got, is it Mutt? In fact, I've probably got to call him and get a resupply. There doesn't seem to be that too many, too many of them on the minimap, but they're, yeah, that's, that was a great idea, get up and where they can see you. Right, so there's one at the end. Oh, missed him. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what you should have done right from the start. It's difficult with the bushes I've found. The camera keeps getting hooked up and it sort of zooms in, on, or not zooms, but focuses on a certain part. So that's another, oh, missed him. Got him. So, two more to go. Oh, right down the back. Wait for him to poke his head out. Oh, he went too far. Yeah, probably could run up to him. Whoa! Yeah, I thought that was a bit too risky. I probably should have just thrown a grenade in there because I don't think the target is actually right next to me. So, make a bit of a meal of it. Oh, there he is. I thought I'd already got him. That's the last one. Okay, so yeah, that was a bit more, um, not quite as smooth as the others. But we got there in the end. Fellow human, let's walk together in love and in tranquility. Okay? Let me talk to this guy. Put me on speakerphone. Okay, trust fund fetus, you've got one chance before I take this fucker's collar and chain off. The raid! The guy's in white. What have you done with Lab Rat? I don't know, man. I don't know. But, but there's some guys in white on Elysian Island. Some kind of new wellness venture my dad's going to invest. I mean, that's all I can tell you. You better be right. Now get the fuck out of here before we grind you into paste. Well, he did tell him to run, and he just stood there. Well, fresh meat. Looks like we're heading down to the water side. Right, so we're off to our fourth location. It is uh, Elysian Island, so down by the docks. Uh, uh, but there we got to do something a little different. So it's not uh, as the killing. Well, it's not the killing done. There's more to be done, but not as much. Yeah, I think we'll speed it up. So, yeah, since we've got to look for a warehouse when we get to uh, the island, which I figured it would be the one that's got 
people outside or it's going to be open possibly or have a marker or something so not too much to worry about I think it takes us down to the general area and then we've got to search so we just quickly move around that one's open this one's got a few people outside and there's also a marker for keypad to put um to do like the, the hacking on there as well which is there and it's one of the simpler puzzles so nothing drastic not one of the ones you see that often to me to be fair i think you get a couple of them on some of the setups uh, I did think, oh, there's going to be a load of people in there, but it doesn't look like there's any, but I'm not taking any chances. I don't want to get um, surrounded from both ends without any form of cover, so I'll take the car in. It lets me, so why not? I'm guessing the green boxes were significant, so I took a picture of this because that looked like evidence. Seemed to work. What's with all the pharmaceutical shit? Oh, I smell a conspiracy fresh meat. I figured these cars would be uh, in the blue boxes. I don't know why. I just thought, oh yeah, they're bound to be um, evidence. Some I couldn't quite see how they'd fit in, but you know, but apparently, yeah, nothing to do with it. Now we spent a bit of time here just photographing a few things because we wasn't watching the minimap and uh, we didn't really have a clue what it was once it wasn't the boxes apparently. So I just went around photographing um, everything. So we'll speed that up until I find something of interest. Still thinking that these cars are going to need a picture, so take a wide angle, but that didn't work. And there's actually one propped up behind me, and I haven't noticed it, but what I have noticed is I've got targets coming in, so I figured I'd take care of them first. And because I think I start taking more notice of the minimap at this point, I actually realise that there are some pictures that I can take that have cropped up on the screen. So I want to try and get them. Oh yeah, just just in case. So it didn't work. But I'll go down and get that one anyway. I've still got targets. There's a car coming in. Quickly take a picture of that one before. <laughs> well, they're just parking up. All right, that worked. Get rid of these guys. And I've got to take a picture of the other clue. And that just leaves one to go. Right, one left. And I'm back. Back at square one with no clue of what it is I'm looking for. With one to go. At this time I've got targets on both sides just wondering whether I should get in the car or just run around a bit more and hope for that something pops up on the minimap something I've missed and I've also got cover from the boxes to a certain extent in fact I don't even know you can hear him shouting but he seems to be quite far back Right, so I've just spotted it over the back there. There is a board. So I need a picture of that, I think. You dumb fuck. 
didn't work. Maybe I need to be closer. Right, there we go. That's the fifth one. Yeah, you could have mentioned picking up the key card before. Um, mind you, I shouldn't have known he was going to ask for it, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, so, and, and that was close. I nearly got hit then as I was running back to the car. But now I'm in the car, all I've got to do is bolt for it. Right, so that looks like that's part two taken care of. So, on to part three. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.